Shortages, we seem to be hearing more and more about them. One of those being chips. And no, I'm not talking about Tostitos or Lay's. An electronic chip shortage has been affecting the production of many everyday items like phones and household appliances. And those chips are also important for car production. News West 9's Francisco Soto spoke to a local car dealership today and found out more about the problems it's causing for the car industry. When you drive down our local car dealerships, take a closer look. You know, whether it's a Hyundai or Toyota or Chevrolet, you're not going to see as much new inventory. These dealers were still stocking our, our lots with inventory period. Maybe the ratios where they were 50-50 new to used, it may dwindle on the new side, but you still have a lot more options on the used sides. You know, Hyundai himself. Ken Quintana himself. has been in the car industry for over 20 years. He says the situation is first of its kind, as used cars are in higher demand than ever. Now you could still take it advantage because that, again, that used vehicle is going to be worth more now than than it was even even a, a year ago sometimes even more than it was when it was brand new. Quintana knows that most dealerships are going through the same situation. They are still receiving inventory, but not like it was before. You know, your ratio from new and used inventory, it's more going to be used now. Um, it's just invisible inventory that on the new side, the dealers are still going to get that, that, that vehicle. It's just, again, it's, it's going to come in at a slower pace. Uh, manufacturers still are still trying to get as much inventory to the, the dealerships, but again, it's it, it, there's just an adjustment. So, are people putting the brakes on buying a vehicle? Quintana says no. The public still wants to buy vehicles. They still need them for work or, or for personal reasons. They still need that inventory. So, you know, they've done you know some adjusting of their own. So maybe they can't get that new vehicle at that at that time right now. So when will this end? Quintana says it's still an unanswered question. He does, however, think that many in the industry have adapted to the situation. You know, when this was supposed to be, you know, three or four or five months ago, here we are with the same shortage. But, you know, now we just got a few more months under, under our belt. So it's getting a little easier for us to, to still sell vehicles. In Odessa for News West 9, I'm Francisco Soto.